Hey everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. Sorry it's taken me a few weeks to make this last and final video on how to put the how to make a super track simulation where we we're actually going to run it on a super, a physical super track. I ran into a little bit of a hiccup the past few weeks, basically with different types of firmware on the old on the super track that's in Oakdale, Minnesota, with the firmware that is in my software. I actually ended up upgrading my software from my super, super track track master software. It's way more intuitive. It's really easy to use. So I'm actually going to go over to the Oakdale office. I'm going to open up a new, start a new project, and we're going to create a new simulation. Then we'll actually just put that on the physical super track that's there. Again, like I said, this is a really intuitive tutorial this week. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. From the last time we talked a few weeks ago, I actually upgraded and I got the latest TrackMaster software and I got the latest automation studio project. And I, the biggest thing I had to do is I had to make sure that the firmware on the actual APC 900 that's here in the BNR automation or the BNR automation office in Minnesota matches up with my project on here. So I created a new AR simulation just like we did before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and double click on that simulation that we created and wait for the traffic light to turn green. And then the next thing is the file structure is very important that we had discussed. Remember that temp file that we created on our C drive or the folder we created in the temp folder? All we need to do now is create a folder called SuperTrack User. So it already populated some of the .dat, .dat files in there, as you can see. That's what that pro project has done. So next thing we can do is we can go ahead and we can open up our track master, the, new, the newer track master. And we're, for now, we're just going to do a simulated system. So go ahead and connect, connect to the 127.0.0.1, hit connect. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new system real quickly through the quick start. So go up to setup and click on quick start. And we're going to name this rent super track system. We're going to have one meter straight sections and two curves. That's what is here in Minnesota. In the BNR office, so go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and hit OK. So now we're going to have four stations. So go ahead and up that to four, and we're going to do four pallets. That's what we're using here in Minnesota. We're going to keep the pal pallet velocity set at a thousand. So hit OK. And as you can see, it starts it off. It's running our simulation right now with the four movers. Each target is right smack dab in the middle of each track length. So this, these two are at 500 millimeters and these two are at 515 millimeters. I'm going to disable it and I'm just going to go in here now. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to do a file archive parameters. But first what we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced. We're going to go to system layout. And right here we're going to make sure it's enabled, the track master is enabled and we're going to change the encoder mode from high speed to standard. Go ahead and hit save and restart and hit OK. Yes, it's restarting the controller. And then we're going to go back up to global parameters. The pallets that we have on the system need to be changed because there's an actual shelf on them. And so we're just, we don't want them to crash into each other. So we're going to change it from 150, 152 to 255. Also, the other thing about the pallets that are on the physical system is we have three magnets per pallet. So change that to three. And then we just wanna just double check a few things like our maximum velocity. Velocity. We don't wanna go any faster than 1,000 millimeters per second. That looks good. Then we wanna go up to the enable simulation, change that from true to false. Go ahead and hit save, hit okay. And so now what we can do is we can go ahead and we're going to archive these parameters. So go ahead to file and hit archive parameters. Okay, we're going to save this to a known place. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to leave it like this. So save it to my desktop, hit save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect from all the systems. So disconnect from all. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just disconnect from exit our AR sim. Okay, here we are. You can actually see the real super track system right here. 
we've got four pallets on there, one, two, three, four, and we're hooked up to the actual controller that in this in this real live super track system. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna go back, we save those, we archive those parameters, we're gonna go back into our TrackMaster software. So go ahead and double click on it. And instead of connecting to our simulated system, we're gonna to connect to the 10.1.60.55. That's the actual IP address of the controller on the live super track. So hit connect, hit close. And then what I'm gonna do is now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna go to file and we're gonna restore parameters. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up that, that file that we archived earlier. So just double click on it. Go ahead and click yes. Click all, hit restore, click yes. And then I like to select all of these. Hit, select them all and hit okay. Click yes, it's gonna restart the conveyor. I'm gonna go ahead and select all again and hit okay. Just save it one more time. I like to save, hit okay. All right, let's go ahead and hit enable system. And as you can see, the pallets are moving in my simulation and they're also moving on the actual super track here in Minnesota. And they're stopping at all the targets that we, that we created through the easy setup. Now I'm gonna disable the system you can see everything stops where it's at. And we're gonna change some of those targets. So let's go back to global parameters. Let's go to targets. And let's change some of these positions. Let's change this to 700. Let's change this to 700. Change this to 700. And we'll change this to 700. Hit enter, go ahead and hit save, select all, hit OK. Let's go back to the system dashboard. You can see all the targets moved. Let's go ahead and let's do a quick restart the controller. Hit yes. I'm gonna hit save here. Select all, hit OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click the green button to enable the system. And as you can see, the pallets are moving to their new positions on the track. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope this was an informative tutorial on the BNR SuperTrack. It's a very powerful piece of automated equipment that BNR manufactures, and it's the first in their family of tracks that they have. So, again, I hope it was super informative and it helps you out on your next automation project. If you like these videos, if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great videos like this that may be of interest to you. I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.